Are you a weird subject? So the weird problem is a phenomenon that occurs in a lot of psychological and social science research. In a lot of the research that underpins how we see individual and social human behaviour, the subjects of those studies are overwhelmingly Western, educated and from industrialised, rich and democratic countries. So they're weird. And if you dig a bit deeper, a huge number of these studies use college students in the United States who take part in the studies for class credit. Around 67% of American psychology studies use American college students. And yes, weird subjects are still human, but the question that comes up is how representative are they of the broader population? Weird subjects come mostly from countries that represent only about 12% of the world's population and we know from research that they really do differ from other populations in a whole bunch of areas like moral decision making, perceptions of fairness, values, approaches to reasoning, even biological functions like visual perception. So what does this mean? It means that while research in a whole bunch of disciplines can inform how we see and understand people, we also have to be careful about making these studies generalizable to the rest of humanity. Researchers also have to be better at seeking diverse populations for our research. One of the problems with social science research and how it's viewed by the academy is that you're not rewarded or even encouraged to do research that are replications of previous studies. It's arrogant and racist and Western centric and research bodies like universities and journal publishers have to be better at creating incentives for diverse perspectives in our approach to research. And this goes to the foundation of good science. Knowledge is provisional. Epistemic humility is at the root of all progress.